go again. This is actually the day after the drop shot video. And once again, top water was a bit slow. Brought out that old chatterbait, gave that a whirl even though the drop shot was working the day before. The mornings have been real windy out there. Getting a little calmer in the afternoons for some reason. It's kind of backwards the way it should be. But it was definitely a chatterbait, crankbait sort of day. Well, that certainly was a nice four pounder to start off today. A lot of the fish were real tight to cover and you had to get that bait just the right spot to get bit. Another option to fish in close to cover is fishing the edges of the weed line. Here I'm throwing a 5 8 ounce chatterbait down the edge of these weeds and I pick up a couple fish doing that throughout the day. The green mats you see here in the distance are not actually living mats of grass or moss. They're dead grass that's floated up because the state's been poisoning the waters of the delta to try to kill off this grass. And I guess they're getting their deal done. But anyhow, found a nice one on the edge of it. It's always nice to pick up a four and a five in the same day. 
That reaction bite was so good with the chatter bait, it actually brought out a square bill crankbait rod. Throwing a bluegill colored crankbait. Again, about four to six feet deep. And that did the trick too. As that sun came up and the fish swam under the cover, I tried my hand at punching, but I didn't quite get what I was looking for. Later on in the day, I headed further south to fish some water I hadn't fished before. I tried flipping a little crawdad little creature bait, and it got a few bites to finish off the day. around. How could they not want to eat a product? Yeah. 